Augusta, home of the Masters. In a magnificent shot by Arnold Palmer. So Augusta is kind of interesting because it's two hours from Athens, it's two hours from Savannah, which we also love, and it's two hours from Atlanta, which we're in the most often because of the airport. But it's one of those cities that we have passed, and we've passed numerous times, we've never stopped, and this is the first time that we're taking time to get to know Augusta and to see everything that it has to offer. We're not here for the Masters, but our goal is to show you guys in 48 hours that there is more to do here than just the Masters. Full disclosure, I did call the golf course to see if they could let me in, <laughs> then get an answer. They don't want us playing putt putt. No, I, I would happy Gilmore it very hard. If anyone has some connections, how to get on the Masters course. Yeah. I've heard it's like next to impossible. Yeah, who cares if it's this elite group of people that get to watch golf? Let us bring our dog. He likes to dig holes. This is all a joke. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just went for a run. We sat in the car to drive down here. It is time to eat. I'm hungry. And I feel like after sitting for so many hours, I felt like we needed to start with something sort of healthy. I got the page, which is a salad, and it has just an almond, avocado, strawberries, feta, lemon thyme vinaigrette, and tomatoes. There's a lot in this little bowl. And then I added chicken to it to get a little protein. I got a pokey bowl. Look at that, looks really good. It's got rice, cucumber, red onion, avocado, seaweed, ahi tuna, and some spicy mayo. We got lots to eat this week, so let's start off strong so we can go big later. <laughs> so one very famous person from Augusta, James Brown. I mean, who doesn't like James Brown? <laughs> Augusta has this James Brown like square and James Brown Avenue and they have murals and it's they have this cool statue. So if you come to downtown Augusta, you can pay your respects to Mr. James Brown and then you could probably go to Spotify, iTunes, drive around town, listen to his music. I can't put it in the video because of copyright reasons, but I think that's what we're gonna do. Cuts the town. It's always there, moving yes for. Next up, we are going kayaking with two dudes kayaking. I think that's a fun name. So I'm guessing it's two guys. Two guys are meeting up with us, and we're going kayaking right on the Savannah River. The river is very peaceful. We're here in early October. It's still a little bit warm. This is a little unseasonably warm, but it feels nice. So in the evening, it's cooling off. It's probably like 75 outside right now. It's just really relaxing. There's a nice reflection on the water because things are kind of quiet. We're gonna go enjoy this. So we asked specifically for like a sunset time. So we're on the water from six to eight-ish. And we're just gonna watch sunset on the river. Apparently there's gators in this river. You know, nobody told us until, I don't know, yesterday that they had alligators in Augusta. No. All right, we're recording. <laughs> Kramer wants in so badly. How you feeling, Sarah? <laughs> We're those dog people again today. <laughs> Kramer. We're just gonna let Dad show us how it's done, okay? I drive you across the country, you paddle me around the river. Yeah, I can do that. This life vest is like around my neck, so I'm just like <laughs> But we're not going anywhere because this is the best. just started and as you start you actually go underneath a railroad bridge and the train happened to be going over just as we were starting which is really cool
fun. We just finished kayaking with two dudes right here on the river. We had the most beautiful sunset. The water was just, it's a river, but it felt like a lake because it was just so mirror-like and so smooth, which I don't know, I guess I haven't experienced that in a river because ours, the Tennessee River back in Chattanooga is just, it's a lot busier. It was so quiet, so beautiful, and so relaxing. We had a great guide. Greg was amazing. Honestly, like sometimes guided things, you could be a little nervous. It's like, oh, I don't know what the guide's gonna be like. He was so much fun. It was great. It was like he was an old friend. We joked, we laughed. Highly recommend. You could do guided or just rent. But next, we kind of got to hurry and run back to the hotel and change because we have a dinner reservation at 8:45, which is in just a few minutes. We don't usually eat too late because we're like old people, but. Tonight we got to eat later because we have too much to do, so let's go. We kind of smell like the river, so hopefully they will take us. But like Sarah said, I highly, highly recommend. Highlight of our time here in Augusta so far was being on the river. It was well worth it. Dinner time. Tonight we are at Fifth and Finch, which is highly recommended. And we just ordered very hungry. We've had a full day of running and kayaking and driving. And Chris and I are both just enjoying sitting here and relaxing. And I think it's going to be good. I just saw her, the waitress walk by with somebody else's dinner and I was eyeballing it. Okay. That looks good. I'll have that. I think my face is showing it. I'm, I'm tired, but like a good tired, you know, just like you've been out having fun all day kind of tired. That's where I'm at right now. I'm ready to get a good dinner in me and then it'll probably be a hard night's sleep tonight. And if you see the lights flickering, that's not because of some cool like mood setting they have. It's because of our camera and how it captures the light. I just snuck one of Chris's french fries once. So I got the chicken breast, which comes with risotto, fresh vegetables, and then they put rosé butter on it. Which I've never had a rosé butter, but I'm intrigued because I like rosé and I like butter. <laughs> Give me some chicken and some veggies. We're going to have a good meal. Mm. Got a little bit of the rosé on there. Let's go with the risotto. Mm. Yes, please. So I got the burger. It's an Angus burger. It's got bacon, tomato, lettuce. And they even hand stamped the, uh, the bun. That's how you know it's a nice burger. Very good burger. Great service. Delicious food. Uh, chicken. I told Chris, like, it's easy to make a forgettable chicken. That was, like, a really good chicken. Like, it stood out. It's like, oh, it's, like, it's got flavor. It's not dry. It's got, like, the seasonings on it. It was just, it was very good. So we are stuffed. We are tired from the day. It's been a great day. But we have some more to come. So we're going to head back to the hotel, get some sleep. See you guys in the morning. You're good when you're on side of right guilt ain't mean nothing but a lover's fight a fool was I now you played me like a clown good morning I'm a little bummed we just missed showing you guys the most beautiful sunrise I think I'm, I've seen in a very long time. It was the perfect orange, pink, purple, blue, so beautiful. And then we turned around and there was a full rainbow behind us. Such a pretty sunrise this morning. Chris ran back upstairs to get the drone and by the time he came back, it was gone. I think the forecast today is to be cloudy, but I actually felt a few raindrops while he was inside. So fingers crossed, it doesn't get any worse. First things first, coffee. Explorers walk. Augusta has a swamp. That's where we're at. I love overalls. Y'all know that. So very at home. Oh, I look. I got my knapsack. All right, we're climbing down a ladder to get into the swamp. So because of that, we're not taking our good Sony camera. So now we are on GoPro and cell phone. I've got my cell phone, but Chris has the GoPro strapped to his chest, so everything's gonna be Chris's point of view. Sometimes I feel like I should go and do like this. I like 
go sideways. It's just it's easier if I hit something to catch my balance that okay. way than forward. Okay. <laughs> Oh. A little further, about right there. There's some. Okay. Yeah, I saw something jumping. And then you'll take the. I'll give you this next. Okay. And then. Cheese cloth. <laughs> oh, those big bad birds. Bang, 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 bang. bang. Um, so right in that little yeah. puddle, there's a bunch of stuff moving. Oh, I see it. <laughs> we got our loot. <laughs> oh, my feet are stuck. So we just got back onto dry land. Yeah. Sarah is carrying her bucket full of little critters. Some we can see, some we can't. But yeah, we're feeling very adventurous today. I don't want to go for first. This little guy. Oh, he passed. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Well. Shrimp are jumpy fellows. They will try to commit suicide, so just turn off. Would he be? So apparently we got a bug that's not an aquatic bug. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's in the water now. <laughs> I've set him free. Let's see here, who do we want to go for next? Uh, all right. It's like being a kid again. I haven't done this kind of thing in forever. Then how long have you been doing this? Well, this program, we just kicked off this year. Oh, wow. But I've been here for over eight years, so. Okay. okay. And I love it. It was such a fun tour. So we're at Finnessy Swamp, and if you don't know what Finnessy Swamp is, I didn't know what Finnessy Swamp is, but there are swamps in Georgia, and I knew that, but I didn't know they were as far north as Augusta. So Augusta has Finnessy Swamp, which over 7,000 acres, and they have alligators here. I just wanna mention that. Nobody told us that when they asked, do you guys wanna do the swamp walk? And we're like, yeah, that sounds great. That sounds like a lot of fun. And I wasn't putting together like, you know, swamp means like gators and, snakes so much fun we got to put on the waders i've never done the whole waiter thing we got to go into the water and you know they taught us how they capture bugs to put under a microscope we got to look at it under the microscope and then they release them back and then we got to go in the lab and see how they you know the whole water treatment process or water process and knowing where your water's coming from and going to and how you're taking care of it and it was so cool it's such a it was a great two-hour experience everybody here is amazing you know when you look at a tour like this you think Oh, bring your kids. And you should bring your kids to this, but there were no kids on this tour. It was just adults, which is amazing. It was like being back in school. It was a field trip. A lot of people come here apparently for field trips in school, but we got to come and just be kids for a day. I love it. I yeah. love stuff like that that allows us to just kind of remember what's fun in life. So if you're interested in bugs, water, swamp, beautiful scenery, it is beautiful here. And they have trails and I saw people bringing their dogs here. It's very peaceful. They were just Very. talking about how, you know, a few years back, this was an illegal dumping ground. People just dumped everything here and how they've, you know, restored the ecosystem of it. And now mayflies apparently are very, very uh, susceptible to things. Like they are very vulnerable and they have been spotted in some of the rivers and creeks and stuff like that mm -hmm. surrounding this area. So that means that it's gotten much cleaner, much better, all thanks to scientists and volunteers. Yeah. They've done a great job in just a short amount of time. We've seen other things eat each other out here. Now it's time for us to go eat. Lunchtime. So we finished our swamp expedition, which was so much fun. And then we ran back to the hotel, grabbed Kramer, and we are at Bodega Ultima. They do breakfast and lunch. I got breakfast, because I haven't eaten yet today besides my coffee. <laughs> and Chris got lunch. So meet Ash, but Ash is the mascot of Bodega Ultima, and she's the face and cover of their like house wine, which got me thinking, I think we need to open up a little wine blend with Kramer's face on it. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they want, because we're such wine connoisseurs. I'd love to learn more about wine, but, oh, food.
Oh, I love Brits. It's so good. Not healthy, but it's good. The ultimate comfort food. It's like butter and cheese and grain and salt. It's everything that causes a heart attack. Man, is it good. So I got a bagel. It's an Asiago bagel. And it's got chorizo, tomato, avocado, egg. I was in the mood for breakfast. I haven't eaten yet today. So I was like, I gotta get breakfast. And I really wanted coffee again. And coffee sounded like it was gonna pair better with a breakfasty food than fried chicken. It's good yeah, chorizo. Yeah. We are gonna be really sleepy after this. <laughs> I'm just... So I got the Pat's chicken sandwich. It's dipped in hot honey butter with lettuce, tomato, and pickled peppers. Look at this thing. This. Oh, I smell it. It's got a little spice to it. It's not overwhelming. Doesn't burn, but it's just enough to get your tongue tingling. It's very good. A lot of flavors are happening here. It's not just your normal Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Like this is a really good chicken sandwich. Lunch or breakfast for me was delicious. It had great reviews. Very surprising in the sense that like, I thought the prices were very affordable and the food was like really good quality, especially for the price. I mean, a price aside, it was really a quality. Chris said it was one of the best chicken sandwiches he's ever had. No exaggeration, we're from Tennessee. We know a good fried chicken sandwich. She stole that from me. I was gonna come on here and say that. Like, we're, we're not exaggerating, we're... Mine was really good. So mine was, just to give you guys an... Sorry, I didn't interrupt you again. No, 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 no. Mine was $8, just to give you guys an idea of like how much that cost. The grits were three fifty. I mean, I think in 2023, those prices are just really hard to beat. Yeah. And I'm not exaggerating. That was one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. Like very good. Very, very good. The cheesy grits were good, but now we can't fit inside our pants. So anyway, we're just carbo loaded. We're ready to go. Let's just go. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so next up, we have a couple of hours. We're gonna run around town, see some of the high spots in town, which means like Woodrow Wilson's childhood home is here. You see some historic neighborhoods and we're gonna get shots and show you guys some of that. But that's what we're gonna do for the next couple of hours. And we have more planned, but that alone takes a lot of time. So just behind the scenes of filming is, it takes a lot of time to like orchestrate all these shots. So while we're here for 48 hours, we're really, a few of those hours are gonna be spent dumping off memory cards and charging camera batteries again. So right now is a little bit more of a logistical thing and we're gonna go enjoy driving some of the neighborhoods and seeing some of the spots to get the shots to show you. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. And it's bubbling over like a sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain. Starting our Friday night off at Savannah River Brewing Company. We saw this earlier, it looked really cute. So let's go get a beer. It's been a very long day, in a good way. It has been such a fun day, but I feel like starting our evening off with a little beer is the perfect way to do it. And I love, I love a well-branded brewery too. Isn't that a cute little logo? So one of the things about Augusta is they do have a good like drinking scene. So if you are into getting different types of drinks, a lot of people come here for that. But I did see. So we had a list of Visit Augusta. They knew we wanted to do something because we like beer. They've seen some of our other videos and they gave us a list of like five or six places. They're like, hey, well, these are ones we really recommend. And one of them is like one of those self-serve tap places. I don't think we're gonna make it there, but I'll put all the different recommendations in our blog post about Augusta. So if you're interested in seeing what all the places are that we discovered and we wanted to visit and maybe we didn't get to, but everything that we would recommend in Augusta, I'll put that in there. But one of them had uh, kombucha on tap, which I personally really like kombucha. And I know a lot of Gen Zers, they don't drink, which is great. I mean, I'm, we're not heavy drinkers. We like beer and wine, and that's about it. But I thought, hmm, kombucha on tap, like that's good. Kombucha is a great alternative. It has that same kind of fill beer where it's uh, kind of carbonated and it's just got that little pop to it. I like, I do like it. I mean, I do like a good beer. Friday night, date night in Augusta, Georgia. We are at Frog Hollow Tavern. It might be the most recommended place in town. It looks so good. And we're very excited to go in here and eat some dinner. I'm very hungry. You know, we started with a beer after work for a little happy hour and now it's dinner time. I'm hungry. 
We are typically old people where we eat a little earlier than most people our age. It's eight o'clock. I think this is gonna be well worth the wait, so let's go. There's not too many places Chris and I go where they have a sign on the door that says, tank tops, flip flops, and athletic attire are prohibited. Oh man. I feel like this is a good date night for us. It's very rare that we go to places like this. This is good. We need more practice of this. But I'm still wearing sneakers. All right, let's go to Frog Hollow. I usually do this in the mirror, but I usually don't have anybody <laughs> recording. <laughs> So we got a Pinot Noir from the Willamette Valley, which we were just in Willamette Valley in Oregon. So that's really why I chose it. I was like, that looks good. But really, I just miss Oregon a lot too. Happy Friday, y'all. This is a fun date night. This has got a nice feel about it. It's nice, but it's not stuffy. It's, you see the signs of resorts like no athletic wear, which I get. It's a nicer, higher end restaurant. You come in and it's, the waiters and the waitresses are, all very kind, very hospitable. They're not snooty, you know, that kind of thing. They look at Chris and I and they're like, cool, you guys belong here. That's always a good sign. It's a good, kind of laid back, but nice dinner out. Still waiting to see what that food's like though, but I have high expectations. So I got the ricotta gnocchi, heirloom tomato sauce, roasted Titan Farms eggplant, olives, and shaved Asiago. It's very fall tasting. I really like it. Oh my goodness, that is good, no good. I can taste the ricotta in it. It's really good. I got the special, which is a pork tenderloin. They have sweet potatoes, regular potatoes. What they did is they grilled it, and then they baked it, and then they put like some brown sugar butter on it. And it looks really good. So, let's do this. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. So the team here at Frog and Hollow, where they're so hospitable, so nice, they're just amazing. Without asking us, they were like, let's just bring them dessert, which is a fine and noble like idea. Unfortunately, I am allergic to nuts. And every single dessert that they brought out has nuts, which is a problem for me, but it is not a problem for Sarah. <laughs> What's even worse is that Chris's birthday was what, seven days ago? I have yet to get him a birthday cake. Here I am. So Sarah, Sarah is um, feasting, stuffing her face with four <laughs> different, <laughs> with four different desserts. And me on the other hand, I'm just gonna, Drink my water. So if you're looking for a nice place, for a nice date night, or maybe you're trying to celebrate a birthday, or maybe you're here for the masters, come to this place. Not only is the food great, because this is one of the most tender pieces of meat I've ever had, but the service is so good. And Sarah is just like, having an entirely different experience behind me eating this dessert. So the worst part is like, apple pie is Chris's favorite. I think it's this apple crisp or crumble or, I don't know what, man, that is. <laughs> Sorry. So don't be like me, don't be allergic to nuts. Never had somebody show up at my table with four desserts, all for me. <laughs> this is heaven. This is what heaven's gonna look like. All right, so we are at Fat, which I love that. It's Forks Area Trail System. It's this area, it's actually on the South Carolina side of Augusta. So if you don't know, Augusta is right on the border. So the Savannah River is the dividing point between Georgia and South Carolina. And most of the city is on the Georgia side. And that's everything we've featured so far has just been Georgia, except for this one. And it's very much shared by the community because it's actually on federal land. It looks like they have like 20 something miles of trails here, primarily mountain biking. There are some trails that are just mountain biking only, but pedestrians are allowed on most of them too. And so are four-legged friends. So we have a long drive ahead of us. We are heading back to Chattanooga today. It's about four, four and a half hours from us. So before we get in the car, 
We are going to go for a good little run, a little trail run, got our trail shoes on. Got a few miles in. I think we're ready for some breakfast. Breakfast time. We're at the brunch house of Augusta. I instantly loved it the second I walked in. So the girl who welcomed us, her name's Ashley, and she's one of the owners of the restaurant. It's actually a very small, family-run restaurant. It's about two and a half years old right now. So it's like her parents and her, and it's just, it's, it's really cool. I love places like that. But it's got a great old diner vibe. When she said, oh, we've only been here two and a half years, it's like, really? Because it really surprised me because it feels like something that, okay, I step back in time, like maybe it's like a neighborhood institution that's just been here forever. I can't guarantee I'm gonna go healthy on this morning's menu because there are some really good, like classic southern breakfast things. And one thing that South is known for is biscuits. And she said, We have homemade house biscuits every day. Okay, it's gotta be something with a biscuit today. We haven't done this, but we should set up a time lapse because everybody in this kitchen, I mean, like, it is yeah, such moving. a, they are moving and it is a tight space. They have turned so many people away. Uh, people trying to get in to eat, they're like, sorry, no room. And they are just moving as fast as they can. I don't think they do reservations. They're open from nine to two, Wednesday through Saturday, and then nine to three on Sunday. They're closed Monday, Tuesday, and they don't do reservations. It's, a, it's like a diner, so it's a relatively small space. You either wait a long time, or you walk away. Like, get here, it's so worth it. Like, if you've never had good southern food, I can already tell this is gonna be the place to eat. I love, I miss, like, less and less people in the south are friendly because there's just so much changing and that kind of thing. People here, they still call you sweetie and stuff. I just, you don't see that much anymore. I'm like, oh, I love that. We may have stumbled onto an Augusta not so secret secret. The locals obviously know something. We're sorry, we're, got, we're we're exposing this right now. So anticipation is high. Let me know if you need an extra plate so you don't mess around and try to take another body. All right. <laughs> you know, okay? All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, I got the Benthic, and they're famous for like their shrimp and their salmon. So there's salmon. And then each side has a piece of shrimp on it too. It's got the poached egg. They make their sauce fresh every day, they said. So it's like the lemon hollandaise sauce. And then the homemade biscuit, you see it? That was so good. Yes. Yes. I love good biscuits. I'm like, don't, it's Southern. Just, you know, all you people who are not from the South and you're like, oh my gosh, everything in the South, like is probably not that healthy. You know what, it's right, but right. It's, it's not that healthy, but it is good. And then Chris got they're, the other thing they're very known for is their stuffed French toast. So he got apple. They had apple, strawberry, and blueberry. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, that's like apple pie. It's like a donut and an apple pie out of Oh, it's sticky dough. <laughs> when you go somewhere like this, and the menu has a lot of options, I always ask them, like, what do you recommend? Because most likely the waitresses, they've tried it before. And this is like, the most, these are two of the most recommended things. We wanted one sweet, one savory, just to try a little bit of both. So, we're gonna share both. I'm very excited about this. I, breakfast, my favorite meal. We rarely get hot meals, because so we have to sit there, we have to take photos of it, we have to do slow-mo of it, we have to talk about it, and then we have to get us eating our first bite on camera. It's quite the ordeal. I know this looks like a fun job, but it's hard. Someone's gotta do it, though. Oops. Uh, so, I'll everything back here. Great. <laughs> Ashley, one of the owners, just walked by as I was making that face. Did you laugh? That's good. That's really good. Now I'm going to watch. Here's the egg. You ready to watch the egg? Oh, yeah. That salmon in there is so. But it has such a good. Salmon, I feel like fish can get lost sometimes if it's not good. That's good. It doesn't get overly lost, especially with all the other savory things happening. It's got the perfect amount of fish flavor to it. And then the holiday sauce, it's got a lemony kick to it, so it's refreshing alongside like a really comforting, warm biscuit. Ooh, it smells like an apple pie. Oh. Today's gonna be a great day. 
I'm going to be hopped up on sugar, but this is really good. The bread is really dense. It's fluffy, and it's not overly sweet. Yes, it is sweet. It tastes like a dessert breakfast, but it's not like the sugar is rushing and hitting your mouth all at the same time. It's very subtle, very good. When I'm passionate about something, I'm passionate. Don't need to sleep on this. Now, I haven't had the, the Benedict yet, but this, this is really good. Clearly, we didn't enjoy it at all. Made a real rookie mistake and wore my least forgiving denim overalls. I own multiple pairs of overalls. I feel like I need to preface that. I have like four or five pairs. And these are the kind that they have zero give. They do not stretch. Big mistake. Breakfast was delicious. I think... Honestly, it's hard to beat a good breakfast food in this place. The, I mean, I know we walk in with cameras and so people are very on alert, but they were all so genuinely nice and not just to us, but to everyone in there. They were just, there was, I was listening to their customer service and the family who owns the place, they're just, they're great at what they do and it shows. And obviously doing something right for it to be two and a half years old. And we got here at like 9.15, they opened at nine and we took one of the last tables. And like, people are moving in and out. Like, they're pretty quick. It's worth the wait. Truth be told, we're gonna be moving slow. Real slow. We we feel good. You know, I'm just really thankful Augusta has a lot to do outdoors, like moving around, because we have eaten really well this week. Like, really well? I mean. We weren't planning we on this being, like this. we weren't planning on this being in an Augusta food tour, but man, like, oh there's some good food down here. The only reason we found this coffee shop, because it hasn't technically opened yet. By the time this video comes out, it will open. But we were driving past, and both Sarah and I said, we want to stop there. It's a really cute, it, they were saying that it used to be a Sinclair station, um, and it was for a long time, then it just sat empty. And I don't know if they did this on purpose or not, but the green is still sort of the Sinclair green. Did you notice that? Like the old Sinclair green? They did a really good job. The lady who designed it, apparently she's newer in interior design, and she just owned it. She completely killed it. Like, you guys know we love coffee. Like, they serve Onyx coffee, which is based out of Arkansas. Very high quality coffee. One of our favorites in the country. Their coffee's great. We love a good shop. One of the reasons we love coffee is actually the community aspect. And that's what they were saying. It's like they went and started this coffee shop as a way for the community. It was a community aspect before even the coffee aspect. They did both really well, and it's one of our favorite shops we've been to in a while. First off, they served us our drinks for here in these real glasses, which I think is such a nice touch, because not many coffee shops do that. It's very pretty, but I got, they have, you know, typical lattes, avocados, every sort of espresso drink you can imagine. But then they also have, like, their rotating seasonal flavors and specialty drinks. And so this one's their fall one. It has pumpkin, spice, butternut squash. It's so good, but it's not, I was kind of concerned, like, oh, maybe it's gonna be a little sweet. It's not too sweet. It's, you taste the espresso first, and then you taste all the complimentary flavors. And then Chris got the Mexican chili one, it's another one of their specialty drinks, but it has tahini in it, and chilies and peppers. It just, it's another espresso base. We got it iced. So it's weird having like the heat, but then also the ice of the drink, but it's another one where you taste the espresso first, and then you taste like the, the heat. It's not too spicy. It kind of reminds me of like Mexican chocolate kind of taste, you know, where it's like it's a warm. If you're in the Augusta area, or maybe you just need to get out of Atlanta or Chattanooga or Nashville or wherever, you need to visit this coffee shop. It's very, very well done. So right now we're on the river walk, which is really pleasant. It's a Saturday morning and I think there's some sort of like charity walk behind us. Yeah, and a farmer's market is happening right over there. And yeah. they look like they had some good stuff. They did, I we really like a good farmer's market. But the river that's in front of us right now is the same river that we were kayaking on our first night here. And we saw this amphitheater from the river and it looks so nice. Augusta has been surprising me this entire time. And yes, this video, Visit Augusta asked us to come down and just explore. Mm -hmm. And when we do videos like this, you know, a lot of times 
we struggle with the fact of like, we don't want to say everything's amazing, everything's great, because in reality, it's not. And it's not true to the city, it's not true to you. Um, but I can genuinely say that Augusta keeps surprising me on what they have to offer and where they're continuing to go. And you're not just referencing Augusta, you're referencing as all, all of our travel videos. We don't want every video to be like, this place is the best, because yeah. obviously what's the standard if everything's the best? But we also don't like to do negative things. But so we try to, if we're featuring it, it's because we really genuinely like it. If we don't like it, we just don't put it in. But Augusta has really surprised us in the sense that they have invested more in the downtown area than what I had expected, and more into trails. And I, I honestly, I feel like they've done, yes, they brought us in to encourage tourism, but I feel like the video is also gonna be aimed at locals who may not know that their own city has something. Mm -hmm. And that's what we like to do, is not just for people to go visit a place, but for their own locals to say, I had no idea that was in my backyard. Cause I mean, if there's one thing we got out of 2020 is that you and I explored a lot in our backyard and that there's plenty of stuff just outside your door. Yeah, so if you're visiting Augusta, come to the Riverwalk. It's, it, it is nice and pleasant. And before we go to the farmer's market, I'm really still kind of upset about last night's dessert fiasco. And I saw a place that had dessert and by golly, I'm gonna get some dessert today. We're gonna get the peanut butter pie. <laughs> I saw it in the window. I was like, that's what we're ordering. Oh. Chris, <laughs> Chris looked at me like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> All right, let's just go. I let Chris choose because I obviously got the dessert last night. The plan was to come here for dessert after dinner. We were too late, so Chris, I owed him still a piece of cheesecake, because that's what they're famous for. And he chose cookies and cream cheesecake. I think you're gonna eat off this for days. It's a big piece of cheesecake. Everyone said we had to come here and they said the desserts that they're most known for, specifically their cheesecake. Now their other cakes, their traditional cakes, look delicious too, but cheesecake. How are we gonna get this home without a fridge? For behind the scenes and extra content, you can head on over to our Patreon community. Otherwise, be sure to follow on Instagram or like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.